a first time talking to you since you know the team traded away JC. Just your reaction to that that move by the team. Obviously, a guy that you really wanted to come here and, and play when you guys sort of met there at the Pro Bowl. Um, you know, things just ain't work out how we needed to work out. You know, for both sides and um. Like I said, I feel like it was what was best for, for both sides. And um, like I said, we, we wanted to work, but you know, it just didn't happen. That's what happens in the NFL. As far as moving forward, you know, you guys are now going to be pretty settled in terms of you know, the group of five barring injury, obviously, and your nickel packages. Just having the same guys in there, that continuity, what, what does that allow you guys to do defensively? And, and how much improvement do you sort of expect now that you guys are sort of settled there in that secondary group? Uh, it just builds rhythm. You know, as a player, I feel like the more you're in there with the consistent with the same guys, um, it's just going to build that rhythm and that trust that we're going to need. And um, like I say, the sky's the limit for us is we come together and play the way we need to play. How you doing? Looking ahead to the uh, matchup coming up, when you see Dallas give up three interceptions, three sacks, give up all the points, what vulnerabilities have you seen just watching some of the tape? Um, we got to come out and play. I mean, you can't look at the vulnerabilities. I'm pretty sure they're going to be pissed off, pissed off about how they play, you know. So um, we just got to come out and play. We know we're going to get their best, and um, they're going to get our best too. I hate to drive a say in this, but when you're going into a game, would you rather the team you are about to play didn't have happen or what happened with them in the last game? In terms of waking them up, and like you said, they're probably going to be more. Um, I feel like overall, man, when you get embarrassed, and um, like I say, as a human being, um, anybody that gets embarrassed, you're going to always respond, and you know, there's always going to be that urgency to respond, and we know that. Um, so we'll be ready. So would you rather to have the team? It don't matter to me. It don't matter. It don't matter. How beneficial? I mean, most players, I think, don't like the early bye week, but how beneficial was it for you guys, especially with the injuries on defense? Uh, it's very beneficial. Um, definitely beneficial for me. Um, I feel like I healed up pretty good um, over the bye for sure, and um, it helped get some of our guys back out here on the team that we're going to need to uh, carry us for the rest of the season, so um, it's going to be fun. You are a full participant? Yeah, yeah so for you're, sure. You're good to yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, for sure. Were you close to being able to play? Um, uh, last week, um, I feel like if it was for the for game on the line, I could have played for sure. Um, but I guess I feel even better this week. And um, we don't play the Monday, so I know I'm feeling even better come Monday night. So, How different is this Dallas offense maybe compared to the one you guys faced a couple years ago? Um, it's a lot different. Um, you know, they had Zeke and Pollard kind of a combination. So it's a, it's a lot different with the younger backs they have and Pollard and um, Dak and Gallup, some of the guys. So. We just got to be ready for them. They're spreading the ball around. They're kind of balanced, so just be ready. More, more of a short passing game now, maybe? Yeah, for sure, for sure.